Hi there, this is Chinkita and also known as Mr. Ching Positive. Maraming maraming salamat for tuning in. Our topic for today are the three simple things you can teach your kids about what? Money! Yes! Yan ang pag-uusapan natin. Pero bago natin pag-uusapan yan, please don't forget to subscribe at my YouTube channel po. Please click subscribe and don't forget to click the bell button. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagbabalik ninyo every time na pag ako ay nag-upload ng mga videos. So, right na pag-uusapan po natin ang tatlong simpleng bagay na pwede nating ituro pa para sa ating anak tungkol sa pera. Alam niyo naman, one of my greatest passions not only to teach adults, but also to teach children about what? Money. ba? Diba? Kailangan po talaga, maatuto talaga tayo na mag, ano eh, magturo at mag-train sa kanila habang sila po ay bata pa. So, pagdating po ng panahon, alam mo, ito pong <laughs> gusto nating maiwasan na hindi na po nila maranasan po yung pagkakamali at yung mga ika nga ay mga pagsubok na dinaanan natin sa buhay. Alam mo, I don't know if you will agree, we have made some bad financial decisions in the past that we are still paying for it up to this very day. Nagbabayad pa rin tayo. Diba? Kaya ang ayaw na natin, maulit yan, I don't like history to repeat what itself. And then at the same time, as parents, diba, we take pride diba, by saying, diba, kung meron lang tayong isang ano, pwedeng ipamana sa ating mga anak, ano po yun? Diba? Parating sinasabing, anak, Education lang ang pwede kong ipamana sa iyo. <laughs> proper education. Yes, let me add to that. Hindi lang dapat proper education sa school, pero alam mo, isang kailangan pa nating maturo at maipamana sa ating anak is the proper financial education. So, if you are just like a parent, just like me, allow me to share with you the three simple things that you can teach your kids about what? Money. Number one lesson, money lesson is what? Teach your children to live below their means. Yes. In other words, hindi dapat tayo nag-overspend. Turuan po niya atin ng ating mga anak. It's not again how much money you make, it's how much money you keep. The most important money habit I for me, uh, in order for you to stay out of debt, to stay out of financial stress, is to live below your what? Means. Ang ibig sabihin po niya, ang dapat ang perang pumapasok ay dapat higit sa perang lumalabas. So, pagkayan ang nang na nangyayari, hindi po papasok po yan sa utang. Alam mo, hindi po talaga natin may iwasan na talaga magkakaroon po ng tinatawag na peer pressure. Peer pr pressure sa mga kaibigan, kung, may, kung ano nakita nila sa kaibigan nila, gusto na rin nila magkaroon din sila. Kung anong gamit na meron sila, gusto na rin nila. Kung ano yung suot nila, ano yung buhok nila, nagpa-highlight lang, di ba? Gusto na rin. Nagpa-rebound lang ng muka, gusto na rin gawin yun. Hindi, buhok lang pala ni Rere. <laughs> so in other words, marami pong mga peer pressure that causes our children to follow and then to overspend. Not only that, meron pa yung tinatawag na advertisement, di ba? From highly creative marketing companies and they are bombarding our children every single day with commercials, no? Whether it's from TV, radio, or what we call a social media. And then, isinti pa lang yan. Alam mo, sa totoo lang, ha? <laughs> and it will take a lot of self-denial and self-discipline. So, ang problema, pagka hindi natin tinuruan yan, habang maaga pa, alam mo, mangyari yan, maagang maaga pa yung mga anak natin, magiging consumer na, maagang maaga pa, mapipilitan na sila na ikumpara ang kanilang sarili sa ibang tao, maagang maaga pa, papasok na agad sila sa ano? Sa utang. Kasi nga, hindi nila nakokontrol ang kanilang sarili. So, that's number one. Teach them about living below their means. Number two, or let's say, talagang gusto. Like yung isang anak ko, talagang mahilig talaga sa mga damit at saka mga sapat. Sabi ko, I will not prevent you from buying that. ba? Diba? Wala namang problema. Basta 50-50 tayo. When you say 50-50, 50% sa iyo, 50% sa akin. Kung gusto mo bumili ng 5,000 damit, walang problema. 2,500 sa iyo, 2,500 sa akin. So, paano nilang ano gagawin yun? So, this is the second part. You should teach your children to increase already their income opportunities. As young as they are, kahit na nag-aaral pa, turuan mo na kung paano kumita. Turuan mo na paano dumiskarte sa buhay. Hindi natin pwedeng paasahin na lang dahil lang sa ating allowance. Nagigets nyo? Uh, ako, I always train my kids. No? Sinasabi ko sa kanila, lahat ng gusto mo sa buhay, pwede mo siyang bilhin. Pero provided with one condition, you have to pay for it. 
So, ang ginagawa po ng aking mga anak, they have additional work. Like, for example, ang ginagawa ng panganay ko, nag edit ng mga, mga text ko, yung mga, mga sinusulat ko. Yung pangalawang anak ko, nag edit ng mga videos. Kaya nakikita nito mga videos na ito. May mga iba siya, nag edit niyan. Nako, rumarakit niyan. Nung minsan nga, kumita na 10,000 sa akin eh. <laughs> Nay, totoo yun. Kasi nga, yun nga, uh, I always teach them to be creative, to create their own money. We have to train our children that way so that they would be always on the lookout for good opportunities. And if we have to teach them, if we don't teach them, and then ang ginagawa na lang, palaasan na lang po sa atin, palahingi na lang po, ay nako, maniwala ka. Pagdating ng panahon, sino pong mahirapan? Hindi lang ikaw, pati sila. Ikaw kasi, bigay ka ng bigay, hindi na kaya mo ibibigay kung anong gusto nila, pero sila mismo, pagparati lang umaasa, they will also what? feel bad. So, it's very important to teach them about increasing their income opportunities. And then, number three, third money habit that you can also teach your children is this. Teach them to pay everything in cash. I will repeat. Pay everything in what? In cash. Lahat, dapat cash po. <laughs> Alam mo, ako, nagpapasalamat talaga ako sa magulang ko. I'm so thankful and grateful that uh, they taught me really well ever since I was young talaga. Hindi kami pinahintulutan na manghiram nang gamit, manghiram ng sapatos, manghiram ng damit, kahit wala po kami. Kasi nga, ang kultura daw ng panghihiram, pagbata pa daw, nangihiram ng gamit, damit, sapatos, pero paglaki, ano nang matututong hiramin? Pera. So, they taught us that I should never buy anything with the money I do not have. Kung wala po akong pera, hindi dapat ako gagastos. Dapat matuto akong magtiis, matuto akong magtyaga, matuto akong ika nga magkagat labi. Kagagatin ko na lang ang labi ko. <laughs> para hindi ko ika nga ay ikumpara ang aking sarili sa iba. Para hindi ako magmukhang kawawa. Kasi yun nga ang problema sa mga ibang tao. Because they try to compare again themselves with other people and they're forced to borrow and then they will be in debt. Are you saying, Chinky, masama ba na mangutang? No, I'm not saying na masama po mangutang. Okay, that's another topic, di ba? Especially when it comes to business. Pero I don't want to get into that already. What I'm trying to say is, maganda pa rin pag ikaw ay may discipline na gumagamit ka ng cash. Kasi pag gumamit po kayo ng credit card, itong pag-usapan na po natin ng konti, that's the most emotionless way of spending money. Na hindi mo mararamdaman na lumalabas sa iyo ang pera. Pero pag cash, di ba, tuwing ikaw ay nagbabayad, para ka chinachani, aray, aray, aray. So that's the reason why let us teach our kids that they cannot spend the money that they do not have. If their wallet is out of money, this means that they cannot afford it, di ba? They cannot spend on anything. Your child needs to understand, oh, oh, na ko that money. You need to work in order for you to make money. Your children need to understand that credit card is not cash. Alam mo mga friendship. If we just teach our kids these three simple things about money, don't I can assure you that your children will grow up to become what wealthy because they are financially responsible. So, I hope that I have enlightened you on this show, on this uh, short program na ito. And if you want, ito lang, as parents, uh, let me talk to you heart to heart. If you want to learn how to empower your kids about money, okay? Gusto mo bang matuto pa yung mga anak nyo at saka ano pang ituturo nyo tungkol sa pera? Let me invite you, let me invite you. I have a special session. I have a special online course, okay? Whether you're in Team Abroad, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao, you'll be able to watch this video by demand. Ang topic po na pag-uusapan is how to raise entrepreneurial kids. Ika nga, paano natin tuturuan yung mga anak natin kung paano magang, et, maging entrepreneur? Gusto nyo bang silang matuto maging entrepreneur? Ay, in this session, marami po kayong matutunan. Ito, number one, how to program their mindset to become successful entrepreneurs. That's number one. I will also show you one simple technique, no? One simple routine that you can do before they sleep in order to improve their entrepreneurial mindsets. At the same time, to pa... Two money skills, two money skills that they need to develop that can pay off for the rest of their lives. Ang kaganda pa ng session na ito, matutunan nyo rin ano po yung mga profitable and creative ideas that your kids can do in order for them to start earning immediately kahit bata pa sila. 
And then, isa pang pinaka-best na session na ito is how to turn their passion to become a fulfilling profession. In other words, they get to know their themselves, they get to know their strengths, may exercise at may workshop po doon. Yan ang huwag niyong kakalimutan at aabangan. At marami pang iba. Especially, alam mo ang output nito? Ang output, pag natutus na sa session na ito, they will be able to make their first sales. Pwede silang kumita, makakatikim sila kung paano kumita ng pera. At alam mo ang kaganda nito? Ito yung mga bagay na pwede talagang magbago ng kurso ng, anak, uh, ng takbo ng buhay ng anak ninyo. Just like what happened to me when I was young talaga. At kindergarten, ako po ay na-expose na sa pagbebenta. Pinagbenta kami ng mga fruits. At ako may pinakamaraming benta. Ako may pinakamaraming play money. Ako may pinakamaraming laruan na hindi ko kumakalimutan. That's the reason why I became an entrepreneur. So if you want to enroll your kids on raising up entrepreneurial kids, all you need to do, all All you need to do is just join me in this special session. This is an online by demand po. Magkano pong investment? If you go to a workshop just like this, it will cost you thousands of pesos. But we want to make it affordable. Your investment for your kids here is only 799 pesos. 799. What is 799 to change the course of your life of your children to raise them how to become entrepreneurs? If you are interested, all you need to do is just type the word called money wise type the word called money wise inside your comment box and i will be able to help you i will send you a link in order for them to register or for you to register so that you'll be able to watch this course stop the word called money wise right now and i will see you on the other side bye